Hello, everyone. Welcome to INC Live Update. I'm Lois Paula Returbin coming to you from our Los Angeles studios. Now, 22 states on the East Coast are experiencing what is described as a monster snowstorm. The storm is affecting traffic, airports, and even power. Numerous states are declaring states of emergency. Now, there are about 50 Iglesia Ni Cristo congregations throughout the northeastern seaboard of the United States. So let's see how brethren in the region have been affected by the snowstorm. Standing by, we have Brother Dexter Manglitmot, resident minister of the Washington, D.C. local congregation. Hi, Brother Dexter. Are you here with us? I am. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Papa. It's good to hear from you, Brother. And now, how many uh, show us? We can clearly see that you are, I believe, at the Washington, D.C. chapel compound. Uh, that's correct. I'm standing in front of the Washington uh, D.C. Congregation uh, Chapel, and next to it is the uh, U.S. East Office of the Church of Christ. Let me just uh, turn your camera a little bit. Uh, show us what's happening around the compound. Show us how much snow has, has covered already. Uh, give us a description um, of, of what you see. The roadways are pretty clear right now. Uh, there's been uh, constant plows coming back and forth. This this shot that I'm, I'm showing you right now, this is 16th uh, Street, uh, one of the major um, uh, uh, roadways here in uh, Washington, D.C., going into the uh, downtown uh, area. Uh, so they're doing pretty much all they can to keep it clear. Uh, Wednesday night, uh, they weren't able to do so when uh, about a uh, half an inch of snow fell, and it caused a lot of um, a lot of traffic. So now I think they learned from that and they're well prepared. And we um, we know government buildings have closed, businesses, transportation has stopped. Um, obviously, as worship uh, worship service still has to continue. Members of the Church of Christ um, still have to go to worship service tomorrow. So the brethren who are usually taking the bus, the bus services are out. Uh, they have a text brigade going on in our congregation where they're going to text each other who ha who needs a ride, and some of the brethren are going to go around picking up brethren who are, are not. How many local congregations, Brother Dexter, have been uh, affected in the area? Uh, there's a lot of uh, congregations who are affected, and I think they're very similar to the situation here in Washington, D.C., but uh, the grunt of the storm is uh, focused here on Washington, D.C., as well as uh, Baltimore and Virginia areas. So I think uh, the congregations around these areas are more affected. Also, uh, there were some uh, members of the congregation of Washington, D.C. who spent the night here at the chapel, uh, particularly the caretaker uh, as well as his wife. Uh, they spent the night here because it is uh, their duty, they said, uh, to guard the place of worship. And we were here with them throughout the night. Uh, and brethren were checking in once in a while, coming here. Uh, the reason why they also spent the night here is they don't want to miss the worship services on Sunday, so they want to make sure that they're here already. There are some other brethren who are planning to maybe come here later on today, and if need, it need be, I spend the night so that they'll be here already for tomorrow morning's worship service. Thank you so much. It's so inspiring to hear the resolve of the brethren there, Brother Dexter. We appreciate your joining us. Uh, we're praying for your safety, for the safety of all the residents there on the East Coast. Thank you so much, Brother Dexter. Thank you, Sister LP. Now, also standing by in the northeast side of Washington, D.C., we have Genesis Acosta with us. Hi, Genesis. Hi, Lois. Good to hear from you. Now, can you describe what are we seeing? Where are you located uh, in, in Washington, D.C.? Uh, what has been your experience for the past day or two? Um, I'm here in northeast side of Washington, D.C., a good maybe a half hour drive from the chapel. However, when we woke up this morning, there was so much snow everywhere. You can see that some of the roads here haven't been fully plowed yet. Some of them have been plowed over here, one of the main, uh, more main roads over here. Um, but my car right now is stuck. It's snowed in, similar to many of these other cars behind me. Um, so we've considered many options, thinking about maybe walking to the chapel. That'll take us about two hours, um, considering maybe taking a taxi or an Uber, if any of those are, are, are possible options right now there's no other public transportation such as metro or bus that are open that's in, and that's for the whole weekend um, so 
we're trying to consider what options we have on how to get to tomorrow's worship service. However, our car is parked in one of the alleys, and so the alleys is a secondary road, so we're not sure yet if we're going to be able to take the car. We're hoping that we can uh, shovel out some of the snow and take the car to the worship service tomorrow. Um, but right now, our only, our main goal is to figure out how to get to tomorrow's worship service. Have you been in connection with uh, other members in, <clears throat> excuse me, in the local congregation? Are you guys all communicating with each other and asking how are you? You know, what's your situation? Um, a little bit, even with brethren in other congregations, we've all sending each other stay warm, stay safe. Um, I think we're all in the same boat trying to figure out how to make it to tomorrow's worship service. Um, so the main roads are getting clear, so that's a good thing. Our goal right now is to get our car out and figure out how we can do that. Uh, the chapel is open. We've heard that from our minister. And we know that there are brethren there. We know that the minister is there. Um, so we're happy to hear that. And we're just trying to figure out now if um, we can get there tomorrow or maybe we can even try to get there today. Absolutely. And stay so long that you are secured or to make sure that you are secured and ready for tomorrow's worship service. Well, we thank you for joining us. Uh, we, we want you to get inside and stay warm in preparation for tomorrow's worship service. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. And we're praying for your safety as well. Thank you. God bless as well. And now we'll head up north to New Jersey where sisters Vivian and Bernadette Garcia are standing by. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Bernadette. Hi, Hi sister. sister. Um, we're standing in front of Model Cow of Elizabeth, New Jersey Park. There have been brethren who have been showing for a few hours now since it started. We measured from our um, ruler that we have here, the handy ruler, and it's around 8 to 10 inches. And well, it's, it's, it's piling up it's growing. <laughs> it's just coming down. It's not going to stop until tomorrow morning. Um, the brethren usually come, uh, they're going to come later and start shoveling. It's, it's a lot of snow right now, but later on there will be worship service and we're hoping that everyone comes in safety. How are you now? We hear that the storm is hitting worse there in New Jersey, is that correct? Yes, yes sir. So we're so gonna, it's going to go from, it went from last night to tomorrow morning and we're going to add, I think, 10 more inches to what is now on the ground. Okay, so, so tell us what are the normal, I mean, your whole life you've been experiencing snow, your whole life you're rain or shine, rain or snow, uh, you still attend mm -hmm. worship service, nothing stops you. Uh, tell us what your family has been going through of course, yeah. Sister, yeah. your whole life. Well, if, if something like this happens, we always have to pay like two hours or an hour earlier than we would normally used to because we have to clean off our cars. We have to drive really slow to make sure we get here safely. And since we're officers, we're always here an hour earlier, so then even more, we have to prepare ourselves. Well, you're definitely uh, braving the storm right now for us all. And we're <laughs> praying for your safety. We're praying that you can make it to worship service safely. Um, so yep. thank you again for, for joining us, Bernadette and Vivian uh, in New Jersey. And that's <laughs> it for this edition of INC Live Update. Follow us on social media to stay up to date with the latest news and events happening inside the Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ. And if you want your local or district activity to be featured on the show, email us at news1 at incmedia.org. I'm Lois Paula Riturban, and on behalf of the INC Live Update team, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.